How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to print pictures, how to print documents, how to print shipping labels if you want to, whatever you want to print for school or for home business from an Android phone or a tablet to an Epson printer. We're going to go over first how to print wirelessly using your home network from your Android phone to your Epson printer. Then we're going to go over another situation if you don't have a network at a storage unit or maybe at your dorm room, you don't have access to that Wi-Fi network, then you're going to want to print via a old school cable hooked up to your Android device. This will work with tablets, it will work with phones. There is an index in the description so you can skip to whatever part of the video you want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And let's get into this tutorial, mobile printing from your Android device. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is that your Epson printer is Android compatible. Unfortunately, I don't really know one resource to look that up like there is for Apple AirPrint compatible printers. So you're just gonna to have to Google your model number and look at like a sales page on Best Buy or directly from Epson to see if that is indeed Android compatible. That way you're not gonna be disappointed if you go through this entire video and your printer doesn't work. However, if you still wanna do it, most printers are within the last decade are going to work perfectly fine for this if it's a wireless printer but i'm just saying don't blame me if it doesn't work for you and you're trying to print on a printer that's like 20 years old now the next thing you're gonna have to do is make sure your printer is connected to wi-fi if you're trying to print through a network via wi-fi we're not going to go over that in this video you probably already have it connected at your house if you're printing from a windows computer or a mac if you haven't already then then check out your user manual get it connected to wi-fi it shouldn't be that hard and once you're connected to wi-fi then we're going to go to the next step so your printer is on the Wi-Fi. Now we need to go to our phones or our tablets and make sure that it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network as our printer. Now we're on our Android phone. We got to connect this to our Wi-Fi networks. So we're gonna slide down from the top and I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on and make sure that it connects to the same network. I'm gonna hold down on the button in order to see, okay, we're on eight foot ceilings. That's what we wanna be on. That is our Wi-Fi network. That is the same network that my printer is connected to. So we should be good. Now you're gonna wanna open up the Google Play Store and type in Epson printer app. There's two apps we're going to install. Well, one's not really an app. That's this first one right here, Epson Print Enabler. This basically instructs your Android version 4.4 or later with the ability to print within Android itself. And I'll show you that in a little bit. We're going to hit install and allow that to download and install. And then we're going to also download the Epson iPrint app. And this is a specific app from Epson that gives us a little bit more flexibility when we're printing pictures or you'll see later on in the video. Install. Once that app is installed, you're going to want to navigate to a file that you want to print. So I'm going to open it up in my file browser. I want to print these Toyota TPMS reset tool instructions. So I'm going to go to three dots at the top. I'm going to go to print. And then this is the native Android print dialog. You're going to want to make sure that you pick the correct printer by this drop down all the way at the top. It had selected the last printer that I had connected and I'm not going to be printing from that. And I'm going to hit all printers and I should have the Epson somewhere in here. I have a lot of printers if you didn't already know. So here's the Epson Artisan 837. That is the printer that I'm gonna be printing from. And the first time you use it, it's going to pop up with this terms of use. You're gonna to have to hit agree and it should now have selected your printer. You have a couple more options. If you hit this drop down right here, you can pick your paper size. Ours is letter, which is eight and a half by 11, or also known as plain paper right here. You could pick your copies. We're gonna print in black and white since we don't need to just be wasting color. You can pick portrait or landscape. You can print two-sided if you have that option, depending if you have a duplex printer. You can print a range of pages. If you just wanna print page two, you would type in two. If you had a bunch of pages and you wanted to print pages four through six, you could do it like that. But we're just going to print page one 
so we don't waste a bunch of paper. And if you go to more options, there are some more options even where you could go to draft quality if you don't wanna waste ink and border or borderless depending on what you're printing. Now I'm just gonna go back and now I'm going to hit the print icon. Use Epson print enabler. Your document may pass through one or more servers on its way. I'm gonna hit okay. Now it sent the signal from my phone through my Wi-Fi to my printer and it should print my document. And there we go. It printed actually pretty fast because I had it on draft and the quality is a little bit lower, but it printed fast and didn't waste a ton of ink. Back to the phone, I'm gonna show you guys how to print a photo. You will have to probably put in photo paper and the way that you do that, specifically to this printer, it's a printer tray that you have to pull out and I actually have to load photo paper into the tray face down, adjust these things, make it tight and then put the tray back. You may have a tray like this, you may just load from the top, it just depends on your printer model. But if you're gonna be printing photos, I do recommend photo paper because it makes the photos come out a lot nicer. For that, I'm gonna go to the Epson iPrint app and it's gonna ask me to agree to these terms of use. I'm gonna hit agree and then I'm gonna hit okay. This is gonna come up with this, I'm just gonna X out of that. You need to change the location mode to find a product, okay. Allow while using the app and then it gives me a couple more options. But before we do that, we're gonna have to select our printer. So we're gonna tap this bar up here that says printer is not selected. It's just this blue bar at the top. And there it found our Epson Artisan 837 and we're going to click on that. It's gonna select our printer and it's gonna get some information from the printer that it might need. Look, I'm low on cyan. I'm pretty low on black, and I just replaced light magenta, magenta, and light cyan. It also gives me some options to do a firmware update, head cleaning, nozzle check, all these different things, but we really don't need that. But we're gonna go to print photos, we're gonna hit allow, and now I can go to any of these pictures in my phone, pick one, hit select, go to next, and then it allows me to move it around how it's gonna be cropped, you can change it slightly. And there are some more options up here. If you hit the gear, you can change copies, you can change paper size, you can change the media type. Ours is just photo paper glossy. You can change the layout to borderless, border two up, four up, whatever. Print quality, we're gonna leave it on standard. It's actually pretty good. And you can do auto correct on or off. I'm gonna turn that off and then I'm gonna hit done. I'm just going to go down here and hit print. It's going to send the file to the printer and it's going to print the photo. And there we are with our beautiful photo printed from our Android phone. Now that I showed you guys how to print wirelessly from your Android device, we're going to print using this USB cable. Now I'm gonna show you how to print from your Android device to your Epson printer using a USB cable. So there's two types of cables that will work. USB type B, which is like standard for printers and scanners, to USB type C, which a lot of computers and Android devices use right now. This is the second cable you can use. It's a standard USB type B to USB type A cable, but you're going to need a dongle to convert this into a USB type C. I will put a link to these cables in the description. This is gonna be crucial if you need to print via USB because you're gonna have to need the right cable. But before we even use the cables, we have to get the correct apps on our phone. Apps we're going to need are in the Google Play Store. You're gonna type in Epson printer app and you're gonna download this Epson iPrint app and you're also going to download this Epson print enabler. I will put a link to these in the description as well so you can download those for this tutorial. Now I'm gonna bring the printer into the shot so you guys can see it. And we're gonna plug that right here into the back of our printer. And then I'm gonna take this cord, plug in my dongle, and then I'm going to plug that into my phone. As you guys can see, my Wi-Fi is off. I'm going to plug in the USB into my Android phone and it's going to pop up with this choose an app for the Android device and I'm going to hit Epson iPrint and I'm just gonna do 
just once. And then here, you're gonna wanna click up here at the top where it says communication error. Yours might just say choose a printer. You're going to tap on that and then you're going to tap on printer and not going to enable Wi-Fi. We're just going to pick the printer that is found locally on USB my Artisan 837. Now it's pulling up all of the information that it pulled from the printer. The ink levels has some of these options right here, but we're just going to go to print documents. And from there, it gives us access to the files on your phone. You can navigate with these three bars right here, get into your downloads folder. If that's where your documents are, you can go to your documents folder if that's where your documents are. You could search for a document if it's a PDF. I'm just going to pick a document in my downloads. It's a Toyota TPMS reset instructions. And then up here at the top, at the top right, the gear, it gives you some more options for however you're gonna be printing this document if you want multiple copies. If you just wanna pick a range or you wanna print all, I'm just gonna print the first page um, from one to one because this is a two page. So I'm gonna start at one and I'm gonna end at one and it's on eight and a half by 11, that is correct. It is on just plain paper. I'm gonna print in black and white to save a little bit, and I'm gonna go to leave it on standard quality. If I wanted to print two-sided, I could do it with that option, but I'm just going to hit done. Then I'm going to hit print and send the signal from my phone through the cord to the app to print to my Epson printer. As soon as I started printing, it hit me with this rate and no thanks. It's kind of hard to see, but it is indeed printing. Uh, there it is right there. This is a document printed from my phone to the app. You can also print photos if you click on this print photos here. In that case, you're gonna have to load photo paper into your printer. And it's kind of the same process. It's just that's how you print photos. It gives you more photo options. That is pretty much the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the tutorial, put them in the comment section. I know it was long, but I do appreciate everyone's time. And I hope this was valuable to your life and relieved a little bit of headache. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.